Hey there guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be showing you something complex where we are going to scrape lists, uh, a lot of URLs, we are going to open those URLs and some of them have pagination and some of them do not. So here is where we are going to show you how to handle that situation. I'm going to start capturing these steps here and let is, let's wait for the countdown. Okay, countdown has finished, and let's go ahead and paste this URL I have here. Uh, it doesn't matter which page you're trying to do this with, everything is gonna be the same. The only difference is that you're going to have to check on the next button, what it says. I'll show you in a bit, okay? So what we wanna do here is we want to scrape all of the categories that we have, and we want to open those links. And once we have opened those links, I'll show you what we're going to scrape. So we're going to scrape list the name, of the category and we're going to select URL because that is where we are going to open. And it's very important that in this step, you have to choose a page that has pagination. In this case, this is the collection that has pagination. Some of them don't, but I just want the first page that does have the pagination. What I'm going to do here is that I'm going to scrape list the items that I want from this page. I want the name, well, the, yeah, the item they are selling and I also want the price that they're selling at. That is all the information I want, for example, and I am going to press the next button. You see here, there are two dips. One of them is the arrow, and the other one is the button per se. I am going to press the arrow. You're going to have to check which one works best for you, but in this case, it is the arrow. I have now clicked the arrow, but I'm going back because I am going to scrape text this arrow over here. It is very important that you scrape text because that is only gonna work for the filter. Now we are done. We don't wanna do anything else. We don't wanna scrape anything else and we stop the recording. It looks pretty simple, but we have to always try and see which option works best. So I'm going to, instead of putting like the category name in the click, I'm going to open each link that we scraped. I'm going to click on add a step. I'm going to add the URL. And in this case, it is step one. Why? Because step one, we scraped many links of the categories. And after we scraped the links of the categories, we are going to enter them. And I can erase this one because we already put it here in step two. And here is where we scraped the elements of the page. Here is where we are going to allow errors. It is super important that we allow them. And we are going to copy the text here. I can cancel that and I can press Command, Control C, Advanced Settings and Presentation. Okay, now that I'm here in the last part of it, I'm going to select a filter. This filter is going to check if the next button is present and if it's not present, I'm going to, well, omit it. But if it is present, I'm going to go back to step two, okay? If step, in this case, it was, it was step six because that is the one that we scraped text. It, there's a bit of a bug here. We are working on it. It is super important that, that you choose the correct one that works for your case. In my case, it is if step six includes presentation, then it would go to step two. I know it might be confusing because the traditional way was if it does not include presentation, it would go to step two. But in this case, the includes works for me. You have to see which one is the best option for your, your case or your scenario. But in this case scenario, it is if step six includes presentation, then go to step two. It is backwards, I know. We are working on this bug, but you just have to trust me that you have to try and see which one works the best for you. If I'm not mistaken, everything should be fine. Everything should be good. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through this data that I scraped. I do not want to connect my Google Sheet. I want to connect 10 times because I don't want it to be a long video but I do want to show you how we do handle the pagination and we are going to we are going to loop from step two all the way to step seven okay I always as well hard to refresh the page just to make sure that everything is caught is neat and everything is working properly so as you could see here it is everything looks perfectly fine the last thing that I always double check 
even if it asked you, do you want to send it to Webhook or Google Sheet? Doesn't matter. I always double check that this is sending to a Google Sheet. You see, it was not sending to a Google Sheet, so I always double check. I paste my link here. We always have to share it with automations at taskmagic.com and everything looks good. So I am going to play these steps. I'm going to fast forward this video, but I'm, I am going to show you how pagination does work in this example, okay? So right now, as you can see, it is opening all of the links that we scraped in the first instance. Uh, should be opening the second link shortly, but as you can see, this one does not have pagination. The third page does have, and that is where I'll be showing you how it actually works. Okay, so this is the page that has pagination, as you can see here. Uh, we are currently on step four, which is a scrape many. Now it is going to click the next button, and as you can see, it went to the second page. Perfect, it is now going to scrape. Because there are no more pages, it is going to go back to step two, which is this one over here. Well, as you could see, it handled the pagination well because the other one was art, I believe, the link, something like that. And this one is bedside. So it is going in alphabetical order and it is incrementing the links that we have. So you could see this page as well has pagination. Uh, this is the last loop we were in. So it is going to click next. It already clicked next, went to the next page and it should be done soon. And that was the last loop. So as you could see, it did go to the second page and I am going to show you the Google Sheet right now. My apologies, I'll bring it up here. And it's a lot of results that we scraped, okay? Uh, it's a bit out of order just because of how I scraped the page. Uh, sometimes the information isn't as I wanted it to be. But as you could see, it scraped a bunch of results. You could do some stuff to keep yourself organized, like clicking on scrape text and then scraping the category name and then perhaps clicking on what item you chose. But for the sake of this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how you could go through pagination and then scrolling and then clicking on elements. And yeah, that is all the information is scraped. Here are the category lists. And these are the ones that we were going through. As you could see, there were 76. So if I clicked 76 times on the loop, Manage trigger, manage loop trigger, and then I put 76 instead of 10. It would have gone through the whole list and it would have scraped all of the elements. And unfortunately, it, it was only like two pages that had the click next button and each of them only had two pages. But if you put a filter and if step six, which is the one that I scraped the click next button, if you scrape that button and then you put this filter and you see if it does include presentation or if it includes next, if it includes siguiente, whatever, your button might be, then go to step two, which was this case, the URL. This might be a very confusing at times because sometimes it is include, sometimes it is does not include, it is greater than, less than, is, is not. You will have to figure out which one works best for your page. The one I found works best for me in this instance was if step six includes the value presentation, which it does, so it shouldn't go to step two. It should actually, well, it should actually fail because it does include step two, I mean presentation, it should go right away here. But in this case, what it did is that it clicked the next button. These are some bugs that we are encountering right now. We are totally working on them. We apologize in advance. That's what we get for growing as quick as we are. Uh, our apologies once again. Trust us, we are working on these bugs nonstop. Kyle, a huge shout out to Kyle, our engineer. He is working on this. So many hours, you guys have no clue. <laughs> He's working countless hours. Uh, all of the team as well, Vince and I, we are troubleshooting all of the errors we find, uh, if there's any bugs, if there's any issues, and obviously Jeremy for doing this whole project for all of us, all right? Thank you so much for your time and have an amazing day, folks.